Hello and welcome to uh, lesson seven, which is uh, again part of the Islam beliefs unit. And more specifically, we are going to be focusing on the notion of prophethood. Can I, as always, make sure that you, alongside this YouTube uh, clip, is also a document on the platform that is showing my homework, a document whereby you will be able, you, know, you should copy all key terms and write and do the activities uh, on this document. In addition to that, could you please make sure that as I'm delivering this narrative, that you are making notes on the key concepts, please. And today that is on prophethood. Muslims believe in prophets as do Christians and, 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 and Jews. Prophets are essentially messengers of God, people that have been elected by God to deliver some form of message. They are, metaphorically speaking, like bridges. They bridge the divine and humanity. In other words, the divine has spouted a message, a prophet will act as a mediator and deliver that particular message. To put that into some kind of context so it's less abstract, for example, when uh, Muhammad delivered the message to humanity when it was recited by the angel Jibril, Muhammad was the bridge, wasn't he, between God and humanity. And this whole notion, it, the Arab, there is an Arabic term for, and it is called Rizala. That is spelled R A, oh, sorry, R I S A L A H. Okay, Rizala. And that essentially is the belief that prophets are an important channel of communication between God and humans. They're essentially the bridge, if you will, between God and humans. There are in the Quran approximately 124,000 prophets. We won't be looking at any of those, well, anywhere near as many of those, otherwise this clip would be very, very long. We will, however, look at a Muhammad. Muhammad quite clearly was a prophet. In fact, he was the greatest and the last prophet within Islam. He is responsible for delivering God's word to humanity in the form of the Quran. So he is regarded as the greatest prophet. Less well known, however, is the prophet that is Moses. Again, we're talking here, there is overlap, isn't there, between Christianity and Islam, both are what we call Abrahamic faiths, pinned together due to this great guy, Ibrahim or Abraham. Moses is a prophet because he delivered the law, okay, of which we fa he is famous for at least uh, 10 of the 10 commandments. And essentially why prophets are so important is because they give us guidance, guidance in terms of how we should live our lives and therefore gain access to heaven in Akira. Okay, we all want to go to the same place. If it exists, we will, we want the good stuff, don't we? And prophets enable this to happen to us to, so they can warn us about, about, about certain behavior, just as Muhammad did. You know, Muhammad, once he was, uh, when he went to Medina, which is uh, where he lived much of his life, he saw people were gambling and womanizing and drinking. And he, he really did warn people not to do those things. Uh, and this again, you know, Muhammad wasn't trying to be annoying. He was trying to guide people towards uh, a positive experience in Akira. In addition to Moses and, uh, and of course, Muhammad, you have Ibrahim. Ibrahim, again, is, a, is one of the great prophets within Islam. Uh, there, there are some massive things that Ibrahim is responsible for. Firstly, he smashed up many of the false idols that which were peppered all around the Kaaba. Now, the Kaaba, if you recall, is that black box that can be found in in Mecca, which is the heartbeat of Islam. All prayers are directed there, and. I think Ibrahim was setting a very clear message that actually there is one God. We should be monotheist in our in our approach to uh, religion, and therefore it was a, quite a central message was delivered there. The other is, of course, when he goes to when he was told to uh, directed to kill his son, uh, and he did so without question. He didn't kill his son. Allah uh, was uh, Allah did direct him, or God did direct Abraham to kill his son Isaac, and he was about to plunge that knife into his son when, of course, Allah said stop, which illustrates the fact that we should the the, the message here 
I believe is, is very clear. Uh, that do, 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 not, uh, do not question, have blind faith, have complete obedience. And these are qualities that Muslims should have in their lives when it comes to a relationship with God. So Ibrahim, again, is illustrating the way, guiding us to, to heaven. The final prophet uh, that we will for certainly focus upon, at least, is Adam. Adam is the father figure and therefore is regarded with is re and revered with absolute respect. He is, re is the father figure of humanity. And uh, so he is regarded as, as a great prophet in, in that sense. Um, we have to avoid, according to Islam at least, we have to avoid uh, hell, Satan, or the Arabic word is Iblis, I-B-L-I-S, Iblis, which is a spiritual being created from fire, who was thrown out of paradise refusing to bow to Adam. So uh, uh, essentially, that is something we, that, that Muslims must avoid. And prophets will enable us, if we follow their example, enable us to avoid this. Okay, good luck.